Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at the product rule for counting. Now, before we get started, we are just going to have a quick look at how you can find more of these questions on this topic from right inside the video. So if you want to pause the video and have a go at this question, feel free to do so. But otherwise, I'm just going to show you how to find them. Okay, so when you're on one of these videos, if you click into the description and you scroll down in the description, you'll see right at the top there, you've got a video with the five hardest topics on paper three. If you scroll down a little bit further, you can download my checklists and practice booklets for this exam. Just below that, you'll have the whole series, obviously at the moment, this is the first one coming out, so it's not quite filled in yet, but you'll have the whole series of questions that I'm going to be uploading in the lead up to the exam. Just below that, you have the series of exam revision videos. Obviously, we're focusing on paper three now, so we're going to be looking at those paper three videos for foundation or higher. You can also find those in the playlists. So that's how we go about using this video, and right at the bottom, you'll see that for some of them, I'll put some timestamps in, but down the bottom there, you have topics featured in this video. So I'll link all the appropriate videos for this topic, or for whichever topic we're looking at, right inside the video. So hopefully that's useful and helpful, we've got a lot to get through, so let's get started. Okay, so this is one of those topics that once you get it, it's a really nice question to appear on an exam. So we're going to have a look at this question. It has two different parts, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll think, oh, this is actually a really nice topic. Now, there are different variations of these questions, so I am going to link the full video in the description. So you check that out just to have a look at some slightly different examples, but we're going to have a look at this one to start with. So it says, Mary has 25 cards. Each card has a different symbol on it. Mary gives one card to Shelley and one card to Pauline. In how many different ways can Mary do this? Well, when we're doing this, what we do is we take the total amount of options on the first pick and we just multiply it by the total amount of options on the second pick. And this topic links really nicely into probability trees and it does actually explain why we actually multiply when we go across a probability tree. But we'll save that for another video. So here, on the first pick, when she's going to give a card to Shelley, there are 25 cards that she can have. So we've got 25 options. Now on the second pick, when she gives a card to Pauline, she's actually going to have less cards to give away because she's already given one to Mary. So instead of there being 25 options, there's now going to be 24 options. So the second pick is going to be 24 options. Now what we do, and it is in the name of the topic, the product rule, product meaning to multiply, we're just going to multiply them together. So we have 25 multiplied by 24 different options, and that is equal to 600. Now this is meant to be quite a quick video, so I'm not going to go fully into depth as to why we multiply here, but essentially for every one of those first cards, Pauline could have had 24 different cards. So for all 25 of them, there are 24 different possibilities that could go with each card. Therefore meaning we'd do 25 multiplied by 24. So that'd be our final answer for that question, and it really is that quick. And particularly, if you have a calculator, this is a really nice question. So for the next part, it says there are 12 boys and 10 girls in David's class. David is going to pick three students from his class and write their names in a list in order. The order will be boy, girl, boy, or girl, boy, girl. How many different lists can David write? So we've got two options in this question. So for the first list, if we focus on that to start with. So when writing boy, girl, boy, how many options does he have on each pick? Well, the first pick where he picks a boy, he's going to have 12 boys to pick from. If he picks another boy, that's going to go down to 11. But the next pick is going to be a girl, and there are 10 girls. So on the second pick, that is going to be 10. And now he's going to pick a boy. Now again, we started with 12 boys. The next boy, there's only going to be 11 to choose from. So we have 12 picks, then 10 picks, and then 11 picks, or options we could call them. So all we're going to do is multiply all three together. And you can type that in on your calculator. So 12 times 10 times 11, and that comes out as 1,320 options. Now obviously for this question, there's two different ways that he could write the list, and we also have this one, or he could write girl, boy, girl. 
So we're gonna have to do the same again, but just for this different order. So for this one, the first pick of a girl will be 10, then the boys, and there are 12 of those, and then another girl. So they started off with 10 girls. If we've already picked one, that's gonna go down to nine girls. So a slightly different one here, but again, we're just gonna multiply them all together. Again, type that in on the calculator, 12 times 10, or 10 times 12 times nine, and that comes out as 1,080. So there are 1,320 ways of doing the first list. There are 1,080 ways of doing the second list. So to get the total for all of those combined, we would just add them both together. So on your calculator again, 1,320, add 1,080, and that gives us a total figure of 2,400 different lists that David can write. And there we go, that'll be our final answer for that question. Okay, so sometimes there is a scenario where you also have to halve the numbers as well. So I go over some of those in the full video and I'll also be going over one of those as well in the practice paper coming later in the week. So I hope you found that useful and helpful. If it was, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.